Hi everyone, today our story is titled Trees, Trees, Trees by Nancy Noel Williams. Look at this tree. Did you know it began as a seed inside an acorn? The seed grew into a seedling and the seedling became a sapling. After many years, the tree was bigger than a house. What else can we learn about trees? Let's find out. So this is a sapling and it grew a little bit more. Here's a seedling and these are acorns. First, did you know that trees have three main parts? There are the crown, the trunk, and the roots. The crown is made up of the leaves, branches, and twigs. Sunshine helps the leaves change water and carbon dioxide into food for trees. The woody stem of the tree is the trunk. Inside, water travels up through the wood to the leaves. Small roots here at the bottom take in water and minerals from the soil. The bigger, stronger roots prevent soil from drifting away when hard rain or winds come. Where do trees grow? Trees grow anywhere there is soil, water, and sunlight. They grow in parks, on patios, and next to sidewalks. They grow in wet and swampy places, in the mountains, and even in the desert, like in this picture here. A large group of trees growing together is called a grove. An even larger group is called a forest. Forests are home to thousands of different kinds of animals. What kinds of trees stay green all year? Evergreen or deciduous? Evergreen trees stay green all year round. Palm trees have hard, broad leaves or leaves like fans. These are palm trees. You'll find them in warm, rainy climates. So this picture looks like it was taken in the Caribbean. The water is very blue. Spruce and pine trees have sharp green needles. They can live in both cold and warm places. You might notice the pine tree if you celebrate Christmas. Your Christmas tree might be a pine tree. What kinds of trees lose their leaves? Deciduous trees shed their leaves each year. The leaves turn red, orange, or yellow before they fall off in autumn. Another word for autumn is the fall, the season that we're in right now. Maples, elms, and oaks are deciduous trees. What food grows on trees? What does it look like in this picture? What type of food does this tree grow? Oranges. When you want a sweet snack, you can pick an apple, a cherry, or a peach from a tree. When you want a sour snack, choose a grapefruit or lemon. Crunchy walnuts and pecans are delicious too. What animals live in trees? Birds of all shapes and sizes build nests in the branches of trunks of trees. Squirrels dart in and out of knot holes. So these are the knot holes. The, the parrots or the, these, this type of bird and the raccoons are in. A mother raccoon keeps her baby safe in her den. If you are lucky, you might even see a frog hiding in the tree. What is the biggest kind of tree in the world? Wow, look how big this tree is. He's looking up, 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 up. Giant sequoia trees are the largest trees in the world. They are the widest and nearly the tallest. Coast redwoods are taller. You may see them growing in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. The General Sherman tree is the biggest tree on earth. It is 275 feet tall and is more than 2,000 years old. Wow, so this tree is more than 2,000 years old. What do you call this tiny tree? Have you ever, ever seen a tree this small? That is a bonsai tree. Bonsai trees are tiny trees. Bonsai is a Japanese word that means a tree planted in a pot. Gardeners prune them to look just like full-size trees. So pruning means to cut back the stems and it keeps them looking very uniform like this, like a tree. How do we enjoy trees? What are the kids doing in this picture? 
for climbing the tree. During the summer, we can picnic in the shade beneath a tree. We can build a tree house and pretend it's a pirate ship. We can swing on a rope from a high branch. On a cold winter day, we can build a snow fort around a favorite tree. We can collect pine cones and make an art project or hang a bird feeder from a branch. What do you notice here? They're playing in the snow. Here they're playing on a tire swing. They're swinging on a tire swing. How can we learn the age of a tree? Do you remember? How do we know how old a tree is? Trees grow a new layer of wood every year. If there is a lot of sunshine and rainfall that year, the layer is wide. If it is a bad year, the layer is thin. When a tree falls, layers look like rings. So when that layer is thin, that means that it didn't get much water. Hmm, that's interesting. You can count the rings to see how old the tree is. So how old is this tree? Let's count the rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen rings. This tree is seventeen years old. We need to take good care of our trees. Without trees, the air wouldn't smell as sweet. We wouldn't have the delicious snacks they provide or the happiness we get from them all year. Trees give us so much. So when you have a chance, say thank you. Plant a new tree. And they're planting a tree right here. What do you need to plant a tree? You would need a shovel and a clear area with soil so the tree has lots of rooms, room to grow. Sun bright, see the bright sky, the sun is shining, and water. Alrighty. Nice job, friends. Have a good day.